Welcome to Build Your Dream Network. I'm Kelly Hoey. I see people struggling to connect effectively all the time, so I created this podcast to help you master your network building needs. Whether you're seeking a new job, looking for a promotion, or scaling your business, you need a network, and you're in the right place to get the advice you need. And don't worry, my advice is real. It's actionable and practical because it's the advice I follow and is what has transformed my career from the traditional to the unexpected. So let's get started. Your network is not a web browser. Now, what on earth do I mean by this? It means you need to stop treating your network the way you treat Google, Safari, Firefox, Edge. Pick your web browser. You know, you plunk in your inquiry and you expect an answer. As I've shared in Build Your Dream Network, and I quote, we live in a hyper-connected world of instantaneous expectations. We type search terms into our web browser and hit enter with the expectation of an immediate answer. End of quote. And that immediacy of results, that expectation of results, takes precedence over reasonableness and realistic expectations when it comes to our personal relationships. Yes, I have another real-life example on this for you. This is a message an American expat friend received from a recent college graduate. Here's the message. Dear Emily, would you be available for a quick call to talk about moving to Berlin, jobs in Germany, and working freelance? I'm a German-American, fluent in French, and would like to work in Europe. That's it. That's the message. Almost reads like an inquiry you plop into Google. Jobs in Berlin, Germany for new college grads? Instead, in this instance, the college graduate reached out to a perfect stranger in the hopes this person would provide the right answer. A little background. My friend Emily has lived in Europe for close to 15 years and has had a remarkable career as a writer, journalist, freelancer. So what I'm going to say is not in any way to take away from her incredible accomplishments, nor am I dissing my friend when I say this. She is absolutely not the right person to pose the question of how to move to a new country and land a job as a new graduate. Emily made the move 15 years ago. Her accomplishments and career trajectory are aspirational. The stuff of, you know, I want that career path. I want my career to look like hers. It's not the, I don't know, it's not the career of nitty gritty as in, how do I make this career move right now at this point in my life? Here's where the college graduate went so wrong in her networking outreach. The college graduate should have sought out someone who has recently made the move or someone who blogs on how to make a move internationally with your career, or someone whose business is to advise on landing a job overseas. The college graduate should have turned to the alumni office or career services of her college or university for suggestions. Or she should have looked at working abroad groups. These are groups that lend a hand to members of their community. For example, I've been involved over the years with the Irish International Business Network and the Irish Business Organization, both of their chapters here in New York City. And these organizations help young professionals from Ireland make the connections they need to start or grow their careers in New York City. I'm sure other countries have similar organizations. If the college graduate was doing or had done any of these things I've mentioned, She should have shared that information in the outreach to Emily. At least then, Emily could have said, sounds like you're looking the right places or talking to the right sources, assuming Emily even had an opinion on this subject. As it was, my friend Emily's response was, I'm sorry, it's been years since I've made the move, so I'm afraid I can't be of much help. The college graduate's loss is compounded now. She doesn't have the answer she hoped Emily would miraculously spit out in a quick call, and she hasn't built a connection with Emily. And that means no ongoing mentorship with someone whose career path in journalism and communications I suspect the college grad hopes to follow. Here's the Build Your Dream Network bottom line. 
don't reach out to the first person who comes to mind expecting an answer. Stop and give some thought as to whether or not they are the right person to provide you with an answer. And by right, I mean their experience with what you want to do now is recent, not past history. Dig around more for the answers you need to solve your own problem. For example, when I searched jobs in Berlin, Germany for new college grads, Google immediately served up resources on Glassdoor and graduateland.com. Once you find some answers to solve your own problem, that's the time to think about reaching out for guidance, to ask someone else for their feedback on the career choices you're making. I'm going to close this episode by sharing what I say on page 87 of Build Your Dream Network as using your personal networks in the manner of a web browser, or worse than a web browser at times, is more widespread than job seeking new grads. I quote Here's where the Googling habit goes afoul in real life. There is a tendency simply to ask rather than inquire before asking. When you constantly use your networks like a search engine, one of two things is likely to happen. You won't get the answer you're looking for, or you won't get any answer at all. That's it for this episode. Now, go forth and network smarter. Thank you for listening to Build Your Dream Network. Stay connected and don't miss a networking insight by subscribing to the podcast. And while you're there, I'd love you to rate and review the show too. Are you looking for more networking advice? Pick up a copy of my book, Build Your Dream Network. It's your guide to modern networking. I'd like to hear your networking questions, tips, and ideas. Connect with me via my website, jkellyhoey.co. You'll find links to all my social media accounts, plus a contact form to email me your questions. I'm Kelly Hoey, and I'll be back again next week to tackle your networking challenges.